Hey guys, Brian Hilliard here, author of the best-selling book, Networking Like a Pro, and creator of the popular program, How to Expand Your Reach, Impact More Lives, and Get Your Message Out to a Wider Audience. Now today I am fired up because we are going to tackle a question that comes up a lot. And it's something that people have asked me. Um, it's something that maybe you have asked of yourself, which is, do LinkedIn groups work anymore? You know, because you're having people who are trying to get their message out. You have people who are great at what they do in terms of coaches or consultants or service practitioners, and they're looking for viable ways to be able to get their message out, right? And they're trying to figure out, they're like, hold on, is LinkedIn groups a way for me to be able to build an audience? And is it a viable way for me to be able to grow a tribe, if you will, of interested prospective buyers? And I have to tell you, for me, I kind of think the answer is not. And, and it's not to be harsh, it's not to try to be like, oh, well, LinkedIn is this, this, and this. Let me just kind of unpack this because part of the reason in terms of LinkedIn groups, part of the reason why that was a little bit of a challenge now, and it didn't used to be like that, right? So like when I first got started, I started my business in 2001, LinkedIn came online, I don't know, maybe five or six. I got into it a little bit after that. LinkedIn groups were awesome. It was like people were in it, they were doing stuff, blah, 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 blah. But now it's kind of like, it's kind of like these old Western movies, like the, the you know, the barren wasteland and like, you know, someplace like Montana or someplace like that, where, you know, the old American Wild West, which is like, shh, 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 shh. A lot of LinkedIn groups are like a ghost town right now. And I was talking with my friend about this, Marshall Bishop, and we were talking about what the deal is with LinkedIn groups and why, you know, they haven't worked as well and what an alternative is. First of all, the alternative is a Facebook group. Okay, no question about that. That is a great way if you're looking to not only build an audience, but become a thought leader and obviously turn that into and being able to revenize, be able to have that into bottom line revenue. That is a great way to be able to do that. But with LinkedIn groups, the reason why there's a disconnect is because, and I was talking with Marshall about this, he says, listen, when you're on Facebook, you have your Facebook going on in the background, like all the time, right? So like for me, like right now, we're actually getting ready to go hiking. You can see in the back there at the woods, we're at a state park, we're getting ready to go hiking. Um, so I don't have it in the background. But like at work, when I'm at home, I have Facebook up so that if I get a notification or there's a post or something like that, it comes up and people are like, oh, I'm, I'm able to see that. I, sometimes I click, sometimes I don't. But for most people, they don't just have LinkedIn running in the background. Okay, so what happens is you kind of have to go in it. You, sometimes you check it, sometimes you don't. Sometimes you're doing some other things. You know, it's not on par with email because you don't think, oh, I need to go to LinkedIn like you would email. So that's how things slip through the cracks. People just aren't aware that, you know, even if they join a group, they're not aware that there's posts going out and there's definitely not that level of vitality or community because with Facebook, you can do a Facebook Live. You know, LinkedIn, you can do, um, I guess some people can do live, but you get the idea. Facebook Live, you can have more pictures. Uh, LinkedIn has pictures, but you can do more on Facebook. It just gives you a little bit more breadth to work with. All right, so in my opinion, LinkedIn groups are kind of the way of the dodo bird. No pun intended. What's the pun, Brian? Well, I don't know. No pun intended. It's the way of the dodo bird. Instead, I would be looking at Facebook groups as a way to be able to, you know, get yourself to a wider audience. But you know what? I'd love to hear your feedback on that. You can like, share, or comment right below. I actually answer all the comments personally. So if you have a take or you want to chime in, by all means, feel free to do it. But in the meantime, my name is Brian Hilliard saying so long, take care, and thanks so much for your time.